Hi everybody, Father Bill Holzinger here, and this is your Friday Reflection. And real quick, this weekend we are going to hear in the first reading about how Elijah was on a mountain and was looking to hear from God. And he didn't hear God in the rocks, in the thunder, in the fire, but in a small, still voice. I think this is an opportunity for us to remember that while amazing things happen, like Jesus walking on the water, uh, miracles happen while people do get healed from sickness, uh, miraculously, even today, that also probably the more common thing, small miracles, are those everyday awareness, those moments of the small things. We are always looking for the big things, are we not? I'm guilty of it too. Lord, fix this big situation. And time and time again, those things may get fixed, but they do so in little steps and in small ways. A small, still voice, a word from a friend, God speaking to us through simple things like the beauty of the day or the wind or the rain, or in this case, a small lake, people walking by, couples enjoying their time together. God is speaking through us through all of these things, people walking their dogs, right? Hey, Snickers. I'm looking forward to this weekend to ponder with all of us the small things. Let's try to find God in the simple instead of the grandiose, into the quiet. Hey there! Of the children riding their bicycles by us. Listen and look. God is speaking to us through all these things. Are we aware? Are we paying attention? I pray to God that I am, and I hope that you are as well. The Lord speaks to us in small, still voices. If you're used to praying out loud, maybe start praying quietly. If you're used to devotional prayers, which are these are all good, maybe consider praying in a silent listening position or situation. It's a great way to prepare for Mass. Sometimes people have said, well, it's kind of noisy before Mass. People are coming together. Well, it's public worship. We come together and there's lots of people. And they, while they may talk, there can be a din of some noise. So maybe consider going into the Adoration Chapel beforehand, or Day Chapel, before Mass, then coming out into the public space. Remember, the church is not like our house where we can have this private time necessarily. It's a public space where hundreds and sometimes even a thousand people gather. And God bless you, and I'll see you this week. Bye-bye.